All right, peeps, how's it going? Welcome to another YouTube video. I hope you're doing well, having a good day and staying safe out there, wherever you are. Today, we are having more Dead by Daylight action for you. And um, we're gonna show off the new killer, The Blight, uh, who was released this week in the Descend Beyond chapter. So it's new DLC, go and check it out on your platform store, wherever, whatever you're on. Um, we've had a few rounds already on a live stream a couple of days ago. Still very new to this killer. It's quite uh, unique to get the hang of, but we're gonna have a giggle hopefully and f up some survivors. Yeah. But for those of you who aren't aware, we'll have a quick look at the perks and the ability and then we'll jump straight into the gameplay. So difficulty hard, his attributes, speed, terror radius, height. I don't think that's correct, but whatever. Perks, dragon's grip, quite a cool name. After kicking a generator, for the next 30 seconds, the first survivor that interacts with that will scream, revealing their location for a few seconds and become exposed for a minute. Pretty cool. Has a cooldown effect for uh, two minutes. Yeah, sounds all right. Hex Blood Favor. A hex that gains the entity's favor when blood is spilled. When a survivor is hit, pallets within 16 meters of your location are held in place by the entity for 15 seconds. Those pallets cannot be pulled down, and there's a cooldown of 60 seconds. Quite useful when you're in a chase with a very adept survivor at looping. Also, if you down them near a pallet and somebody tries to go for a pallet save. Mm -mm -mm. I can see the use of that. It's not something that interests me though, so next. Hex Undying. A hex which maintains the vile powers that flow throughout the trial. While Hex Undying is active, Survivors within a two meter, sorry, survivors within two meters of any token have their aura revealed for four seconds. When another hex totem is cleansed, that hex transfers to an available doll totem, losing any tokens in the process. Sounds quite funky, quite a cool idea. Um, yeah, I don't know. The only benefit I see of this really is giving survivors more points for, for cleansing an active totem. But for example, if you're a killer and you're running Devour Hope and you have three stacks on it, if a survivor cleanses that active totem, but there's a dull totem still knocking around the map, Devour Hope will hop to the other totem, but you lose your three stacks. So in reality, will the hex totem be active that long to regain your stacks or maybe it works well with um no it, would, it wouldn't work with the spirits perk i forget what it's called the one that makes you exposed anyway so there's the perks the power so there's a special ability and a special attack rush and lethal rush so for rush press the power button to rush forward quickly doing so consumes a rush token when performing a rush, the Blight cannot launch an attack. You rush into a wall or an obstacle in the environment to slam onto it. If the rush fails to connect with a wall or an obstacle, or if the Blight is out of rush tokens, he'll be fatigued for a short time. Cool. Hmm. For the special attack, it's a lethal rush, the same as the slam, uh, sorry, the same as the rush before. However, when you slam into something, you press the power button and that will allow you to launch a lethal rush. Doing so consumes a token, but it allows you to attack at the end of that rush. We will show you, let's jump into a game. I'm gonna try and send us to Yamaoka because um, with this uh, latest DLC, there's graphics updates to the generators, the pallets, the lockers and the chests, and also Springwood, um, the maps that come with the Nightmare and Yamaoka, so the Spirit and the Oni maps. They've had a graphical update. It looks pretty freaking cool. So let's try and go and check it out and let's try and have a good round. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in there. Here we go. So I've sent us to Yamaoka Estate to check out the new graphics update as well. So double whammy, take it all in, observe the new stuff. I've got to do it hard palettes. Uh. <laughs> right, so the Blight, rush, M2, do it. Bounce, M2, bounce, M2, bounce, M2. And then you can swing at the end of your rush if you've got enough tokens to attack a survivor. That is the gist of it. 
Um, I beg your pardon. Freaking Claude Data. Oh, the turn. I'm not using any add ons with the Blight because I kind of want to get used to his base kit. Oh my god, it's stuck on a tree. So we're going to see how this goes as it is, out of the can, as they call it. But yeah, he's, he's a super interesting killer. Difficult to get the hang of, but fun, I would say. From a, from, oh, from a survivor's perspective, I find him really hard to um, anticipate what he's going to do or where he's going. I guess you need a good blight for that. I clawed it, it's quite slippery, so I think I'm gonna <laughs> cut chase and find someone else. Hello? I heard somebody. She's over here, so. Obviously, being a new killer, I haven't got many perks. So what we've got is the best of the best of a bunch. <laughs> Somebody just cleansed a totem right under my nose. Scumbags. No. It's kind of similar to Nurse in a way, like after your after your rush or your blink and when you become exhausted, you kind of like look down and shake your head. It takes a little bit getting used to and I, I don't like being fatigued, like it, it's like restrictive and you're like, you want to move but you can't and you're like... Ugh. We got two gens done already. Somebody... Somebody is exposed. We'll make your choice. I can't see her. Where the fuck is she? Of course, Claudette. Of course. Totally unexpected. We didn't have the turn. Hello. Silver lining. Okay, so the killer basement is. Yeah. Not in the shack, but look at this beautiful new killer shack. How cool is that? Is that a total revamp? It is now, like, designed to the theme of the map. I really, really like it. They did a good job. They did a pretty good job. Yeah, see now... I kind of anticipated that she was going to go through that tile and come left. So I headed for the rock to rebound off it and hopefully it's kind of cut her off, which we did. Happy days. It's all about like anticipation of where you're going to bounce and where they're going to be and... I kind of like him. I don't think he'll become like my go-to killer, but I think he'll be fun to kind of dip into now and again. Now, I wanted to hit that rock, but I just ran straight past it. Not ideal. 
Oh yeah, and they've added um, they've added the breakable doors into the uh, the house, whatever we call this building. There should be one around here as well. Yeah. It seems to be a bit of a not a frame rate issue, but like a bit of an issue when it kind of breaks. The images of the wood kind of coming down, it just seems like out of place. Not quite right. But yeah. You yeah. know. Did I see... No, no, I didn't. Hello, Savannah. Somebody is around here. Aha. Yeah, get dead. Oh. Nicely done, Marv. Why, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it's freaking Nancy. Is it with a flashlight? She's like a fly. She just won't feck off. was freaking awesome. I thought I f***ed it and I wasn't going to get the hit. I didn't think we had to turn on the last rush to be able to swing. Beautiful. Okay. I need to be careful because this gen could get done quite quickly. Oh, hello. Was it you? No. Go. She's in the corner, so I'm not too worried about this. Unless she has adrenaline. Okay, no dead hard. Thank you, Nancy. The, sh the um the basement is here, so that's good news. And we have Blood Warden. Oh no! The oh come on! Literally like a millisecond before I hooked her, they bounced both of them. Oh well. There you go, peeps. We have a look at the new graphical updates and Yamaoka. Some MLG gameplay as the Blight. We had a couple of good hits there. A couple of good combinations with the uh, the rush and the, the attacking. So I can't complain too much. For those of you who haven't seen it, hopefully it gives you kind of like a good idea of what this killer is about. And uh, yeah, let me know. Have you played as the Blight? Are you going to try it out? Drop a comment below. Let me know how you get on. And uh, has anyone found like a, a really cool perk combination for this guy yet? That would be good to hear. But yeah, I think I'll dabble now and again with the Blight. Um, it's quite fun. And uh, yeah, I think we will leave it there. So until the next time, peeps, um, enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one. Stay safe. Until next time, ciao for now.